Another prompt. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> Mythical beast and... Ooh, the spooky tree. Ooh, what a spooky tree. Are we gonna get a magical happy tree later? <laughs> All right, let's just get into it. When starting this prompt, my first thought was to Google, because honestly, I don't know what all the mythical beasts are. The first one I found that really caught my eye was the griffin, because, well, it's like a bird, but it's also a four-legged animal thing. So it seemed pretty cool. So why not put a griffin hanging out in a spooky tree in the forest somewhere? Ooh. But then I saw the old centaur, and boy, do I like centaurs. For some reason, I really like the stylized way I draw horse bodies, and yeah, that's the only reason why I wanted to draw a centaur. So why not? Here's a sketch of a centaur pal around with his spooky tree buddy. <laughs> Cause why not? That's what centaurs do, right? And then I thought, okay, thinking of this old rickety tree with this spooky hole that looks like a spooky face on its trunk is just way too cliche. Why not a spooky tree? Like a Christmas tree, but for Halloween! So I thought, okay, let's have a centaur family decorating their traditional Halloween spooky tree. It would be so cute. And I was thinking of their living room and then I thought, they're centaurs, they're supposed to be in the forest. So. Go to the forest and decorate your spooky trees, you stupid centaurs. So that's what I ended up with, a centaur decorating her yearly Halloween spooky tree. I think this is a much more creative and different idea than the cliche spooky tree. So for this prompt, I went ahead and inked it off camera. I really wanted to put a lot of detail into this one for whatever reason and I just wanted to focus on the drawing itself and not have to keep worrying about what was being recorded. I record with my iPhone and it only can do 10 minutes of recording at a time and I just didn't want to deal with that as I was putting all these lovely details into this drawing, which is fine. The videos end up long enough just from the painting portion, so enjoy that. So again, my main focus was tone on this one, because as you know lately, I have been struggling with it. I wanted the bushes closest to the viewer to be darker, and as they got away, they got brighter. Or lighter. But as usual, I donked it up. I made the farthest bush not as light as I wanted to, and honestly, it just kind of went downhill from there. But I'm not going to focus on the bad like I tend to do. Let's talk about my art in a positive light, shall we? I mean, unless you want me to roast myself, then by any means let me know and I will keep talking about how horrible my art is. I had a little too much fun drawing those little birdies watching her. I don't know why. I just thought they were cute and thought it was a nice detail having her being watched from afar. And she doesn't even know it. I almost put a couple perched up on the tree, but then I thought, well, you probably couldn't tell if they were decorations or actually birds, so I just had them watch. So for the forest in the background, I just wanted it to be a general foresty colored shape in the background, which was okay at first, but I meant to make it a little more blue so that it didn't just blend in with the rest of the green. I gosh darn told myself I wasn't gonna roast myself, and here I am talking about all the shoulda woulda couldas. Anyways, to add a little bit more texture in the background, I put a few uh, triangle trees. What are they called? Pine needle trees. Coniferous trees. That's right, but that doesn't make sense. Christmas shaped tree. Okay, I said pine needle tree earlier. I was so close. Pine tree. Yes, you dingus, it's a pine tree. Moving on. I don't even know what I was talking about. I put them back there for texture or to fill in space. I went a little crazy with the masking fluid this time, but look at that peel. Isn't it just satisfying the way it stays in one shape? Oh gosh. 
Ever since the first time I used it in my last illustration, I have been thinking of excuses to use it ever since, and I will probably come up with any excuse I can to use it because that peel is so satisfying. Moving on. For some reason, I always think the illustration looks so good with the character just white with the background around it. It always looks so cool. I thought the same thing in the last prompt. The darkness of space looked so good around the white characters, and I was so tempted to just leave it, but that would have been bad. But it looks so cool! Am I crazy? As I was painting this, I got to thinking, centaurs are mythical beasts, aren't they? What constitutes a beast? Does it have to be mean? I did see centaurs in Google, but that doesn't mean anything. Does it? Oh well. You know what's fun? Decorating for Halloween. I think I decorate for Halloween the most out of any holiday during the year. Christmas is alright, but Halloween is so much fun. I also have little bats I hang around and little ghosts I've made. It's just so fun and you can make it spooky cute. I guess I'm going to have to get myself a spooky tree this Halloween. Let me know in the comments below, which holiday is your favorite to decorate? Do you have a tree for any other occasion other than Christmas? Well, that's it for this prompt. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!